once again, good morning. And welcome once again to the National Council for, Council for Physical Educators of the Philippines or NCPEP Incorporated in cooperation with the Rotary Club of Abad Santos, Manila. We want to present to you our webinar series. This is our fifth session for this webinar series. And they, so we don't have much time, so I will go to the reminders right away. So please make sure that you will take selfie before and towards the end of our session. As I mentioned a while ago, that we have two sessions for this morning because um, we have a maximum only of 40 minutes using the first uh, link that we have sent to you. But later, once we're done with this session or with this link, you have only need to do is to transfer to the next, um, to the same link that we're going to use. Okay, so all you need to do is to make sure that you post your selfie okay, in the NCPEP page and also NCPEP, NCPEP group using the hashtag NCPEP Fit Fun and hashtag NCPEP Webinar Series and Movement Education. So later, after, before the end of our session, in final session po natin, the second link, make sure that you have to okay, um, fill out the, uh, the attendance link that we have provided to you in our NCP page and group. If you are not able to get it, this is the link. You can, um, you can take a picture of that already. Para mamaya wala na yung problema. And make sure you follow the instruction we have posted there, what you're going to do and what you're going to submit. And this will be until 12 noon only. 12 noon only lang po tayo para sa pag-submit niyan. Next. And of course, don't forget. Okay, don't forget to like our page and add to our group. And also add our account and subscribe to our YouTube channel for all updates and inquiries about membership, about our webinar series, and everything about NCPEP. Without much further ado, I would like to introduce to you our speaker for today. Okay, our fifth speaker for our session, our webinar series. She is currently Special Program in Sports Co Director and Coordinator at Mataas na Paralang Nepali Gonzalez, a dance specialist. Okay, and a part-time faculty in De La Salle University, dance instructor, St. Daniel De La Salle, dance instructor, and also in Far Eastern University, a wellness recreational program dance specialist. Okay, once again, let us all welcome Professor Joanna Ayo. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so before we start my... Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning ma'am Anna. Ka rin. <laughs> yeah, ang tagal-tagal. Okay, so a blessed morning to all of you. So I praise God for giving me a chance to, to talk via uh, Zoom. So I would like to thank you, ma'am G, Mina, as well as ma'am Anna. Nakinuha niyo po ako bilang speaker this, this time. So talking about um, movement, education, leading to dance. So I believe with all of my heart that this, is, this moment is God's appointed that you and I will have each other for what? For this uh, very productive day. Okay, so before we proceed, I would like everyone to pray muna tayo before we start, okay? Father God in heaven, we bless your name. Thank you so much for allowing us to have this kind of event, Lord God. Indeed, you are a God that's full of love, grace, and mercy, Lord. Believing, Lord, that apart from you, we are all nothing. Father God, we bless your name. We bless this, this uh, group, Lord God, the staff, everything, Lord God, kayo na pambahala sa amin lahat, even the viewers, Lord, speak to them directly, Lord, and let this um, topic, Lord, will penetrate into their hearts, Lord, and become, Lord, a tool, Lord, for us, we can go more and beyond our expectation. Lord, bless us today as we have this kind of seminar. This is all we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so... My topic for today, uh, by the way, before I start, humihingi ako ng sorry kasi ang tagal ko nakapasok, but 9 o'clock pa lang, nag-ready na ako kasi lang, ang tagal talaga yung nakapasok. So, 
this time it's very hard for each one of us dahil we need to face new normal and we we lahat tayo so talagang nagkakaroon ng uh, ng talagang malaking um uh, problem when it comes to face this new normal but since we are all teachers kailangan nating uh, marara maintindihan at mararamdaman na lagi tayong handa sa pagbabago so this morning i would like to give something um uh, a very essential tool being a director a dance director or a sports director or a mapping director about movement education okay so movement education leads to dance leading to dance so that is my topic for this okay morning so i am going to discuss what is a movement education what are the movement concept so let's proceed now to movement education okay so are you ready so when we talk about movement education is a focus on teaching students to develop motor skills through physical movement under modern literature movement education is praised as movement skills are core to physical and a uh, physical cognitive and social development of the child so as a teacher we need to be mindful that this movement education it is the focus on how to deliver our our expertise to our students kailangan nating um bitbitin alaman kung paano natin maipamalas itong movement education sa ating mga kabataan in order for them to have a very good understanding about motor skills in order for them na hindi nila or maiwasan yung tinatawag na inner or tinatawag na internal injury so maintindihan natin sa ating tatalakayin ngayon kung gaano kahalaga ang programang ito so dapat nating maintindihan na bawat isa sa atin, isipin natin ano ba ang pinaka-purpose natin, why we are called to be a teacher. And this movement education, lalo na sa mga MAPI, lalo na sa atin na we are handling students, lalo na sa, sa physical activities, we need to orient them, we need to educate them, and we need to take good care of them. So this movement education focus each one of us to teach our students to develop their motor skills to physical movement. So, kailangan nilang maintindihan, intindihin nila yung galaw sa loob at sa labas in order for us na magkakaroon tayo ng smooth and coordinated movement. So, okay ba tayo doon? So, pag-aralan natin ngayon. So, this movement education, which includes uh, the what we call uh, movement concept. And what are the movement concepts? Okay, so we have the body awareness. So what is the body awareness? So the movement concept, which includes body awareness, which includes the quality of movement. So when we talk about body awareness, it is our ability to understand where our bodies are in space and how our bodies move. So, kailangan nating maintindihan ito yung buong katawan natin at bahagi ito ng galaw. So, as a teacher, we need to understand what are the functions of our body. Ano ang kakayahan ng ating katawan? What are the body parts? Because sometimes if people have difficulty when it comes to body awareness, ano mangyayari? it may appear clumsy, uncoordinated, or delays in motor skills and development. So, kung maintindihan natin, in body awareness, pag nakita natin ang mga bata, like for instance, in ourselves, pag nag-sit and reach tayo, or pumunta tayo sa isang ano na, sumobra yung ating ano, you need to understand na pag may aray, ibig sabihin, yun lang ang kaya ng ating katawan. And we need to understand na yung mga kabataan natin, or kahit tayo, progression po ang galing natin para makuha natin ang quality, yung movement na smooth, yung movement na well-coordinated. So from head to toe, we need to understand and we need to know the ability of our body, the body parts. So look at the next slide, which is the, the, um, the human anatomy. 
So, that is the human anatomy. So, masyado siyang uh, maliit basahin. But, I believe that this part, marami yan siyang mga tinatawag from head down to toe, marami siyang uh, parts. That that parts have different functions. That parts have different movement. So, doon dapat nating intindihin na yung movement na yan, pag hindi natin inayos, magkakaroon yan ng internal injury. So we need to focus on how we need to give to our students. Ano bang plano natin sa kanila? Pag nagbibigay tayo ng physical activities, ano ba ang inner, inner output? And it will result, result to what? A good output at the end of the day. So yun po yun. So yan po ang ating... Um, body anatomy, and next is, that's okay. Yeah, the basics. So, makikita natin yan from head down to the foot. Okay. So, kung titignan natin yan, the next slide, please. Okay. Kung titignan natin yung from head down to the legs, so, alam natin yung bawat functions. Anong functions ng head, anong functions ng nose, ng eyes, lahat. Even the, the stomach, everything, we need to know their, our body parts. We need to be aware, their purpose, their functions, in order for us na pag meron na tayong galawan, so at least yung bata or yung tayo, naintindihan natin na yun lang ang kaya natin gawin. So okay po ba yun? That is what we call body awareness. Okay? So the next movement, uh, movement, Movement concept is the quality of movement. Okay. So what is the quality of movement? Okay. The quality of movement. Okay. The most recognized qualities of movements are sustained, percussive, suspended, swinging, and collapsing. Movement qualities are considered a part of element of force energy. So make the movement slow, controlled, and rather stiff. Okay, so when we talk about quality of movement, it refers to the ability of the body to move quickly or slowly. Okay? So, nakasunod po ba? Okay. So, perform light. Okay, it can be performed light. It can be performed strong and with the control and efficiency. Yun po yung quality of movement. In quality of movement, it includes the, the three, which is the time. Time is what we call, time is what we call the tempo, which is slow, moderate, or fast. It includes force, okay? Whether it is what? Strong or heavy, light or weak. Or it includes what? The space. When we talk about space, there are two types. The personal and general space. So we need to know where the body can go or move. So kasi may boundary talaga siya. So dito natin i-incorporate yung levels. And what are the levels? The low, the medium, and the high. We also include the direction, whether it is forward, Backward, sideward, upward, downward, diagonal, oblique, clockwise or counterclockwise. Or formational or design, which is the straight, which is the zigzag, circle, semicircle, line, and parallel. Or by groupings or relationship, which includes solo, by twos, by trees, or many. So yun po yung quality of movements, okay? So, kailangan natin yung concept of movement, kailangan silang intact in order for us to develop, to give what is really a movement education. So, there are basic movement, okay? So, what are the basic movements? So, alam natin yung basic movement, okay? So, the basic movement, okay? Actually, the next slide po tayo. What are, there are two types of basic movements. Okay. So, alam natin lahat. Next slide, please. Okay. The next slide. Okay. The basic movement. 
which includes the locomotor and non-locomotor. So basic, there are two types of basic movements, the locomotor and non-locomotor. So we all know that locomotors are movements where we can travel from one space to another. And a very good example for, for that locomotor is walking, running, leaping, jumping. Alam natin yon. So when it comes to our movement education, hindi lang sila kailangan lalakad, hindi lang sila kailangan maghap. We need to analyze itself. Ano yung pwedeng, yung basic na to? Kasi this basic, it can, it can produce a complicated movement. So mag-umpisa talaga ito sa ganito lang. Because the dance itself comes from the basic movement, which is the locomotor and non-locomotor movement. So next slide is the non-locomotor movement. So the non-locomotor movement is the movement wherein hindi tayo gagalaw, stationary lang. So a very good example is like bending, pulling, pushing, swaying, and balancing. So in my class, during a dance class, okay, so ang ginagawa namin sa basic movement, we incorporate namin yung body awareness as well as the quality of movement. Inilagay namin sa basic a uh, basic movement. So pinagawa namin ng bata, like for instance, ng walking eight counts forward and walking backward, then a uh, jumping to the to the side. So pwede na siyang gawin kasi this is basically the reasons why dance exists. So nagumpi sa lahat sa locomotor, sa quality of movement. We can produce quality dance piece if we are so knowledgeable about the movement education. Why? Because everything will, will follow. Lalo na yung, yung, yung fluidity ng movement, yung well-coordinated. So lahat yun magpapalos if each one of us are very knowledgeable on how to take good care about the movement of our clients, of our students. So basically, sila po yung ating pagtuunan ng pansin. Na when I was in Kaan Masteral Degree, I was, my study is physical literacy of the MAPI, the teachers, and the, the motor skills of the grade 6 pupils. Kasi I found out na ang daming nakakos ng postural disorder. So bakit nakakos yun? Because of wala masyadong naintindihan about the movement education. And which is very crucial, which is very important to each one of us. Lahat ng maling galaw, it will lead us nothing. It can cause us injury. So lalo na ang pag magkakaroon tayo na like, Sa jumping, basic yung jumping. Bakit may preparatory and jumping? Because alam natin, pag idiretso mo yan, there is always an injury. So kailangan may process. If alam ng mga bata yun, if alam din natin ituro sa mga bata yun, mas malamang magkakaroon ng quality, ng awareness, and even smooth, and even good result. So yun po yun. So this is now the overview kung bakit kailangan natin intindihin ang movement education because we are going to proceed what is really dance. So doon po nakumpisa kung bakit meron tayong magandang dance piece. Okay, so what is dance? So are you now ready for dance? Okay. So basically, we need to understand dance. So, alam nating lahat na, alam nating definition ng dance. Lahat alam natin. So, this definition, so, is a performing, dance is a performing art for consisting of first purposely selected sequences of human movement. So, this, this movement has aesthetic and symbolic value and is acknowledged as a dance by performers and observers within a particular culture. So, dapat natin maintindihan that yung dance piece na meron tayo, it represents who we are, particularly our culture. So, we need to understand, meron tayong tinatawag because we need to believe dance is an art. It is an oldest 
it is an oldest form of art. So, kailangan natin maintindihan that dance it is an artistic way of communication. Itong pinakamahirap, sasayaw ka na hindi magsasalita. It is all about movement. It is artistically movement what you can give to your audience. So, dapat maintindihan natin niya ang dance, it is your way on on conveying your message to all people where the movements, the pattern, the rhythm, everything as incorporated as one. And that is what we call dance. Okay po ba? So next is, alam natin lahat na yung sayaw is a very good for us. Una-una, it can build confidence. It can release us from stress. We have a stronger heart. Kasi talagang mag-work mag uh, mag mag yung cardio natin. We have a better balance. It can beat depression. It can burn calories. It can boost memories. Kasi nag-memorize ka as well as coordinated yung body natin. And it improved flexibility. So that is the reason that dance is good for you and me. Okay? So what are the benefits of dance? Okay, you're still with me, Mabilis ba? Just let me know, please. Okay, so what is the benefits of dance? So, alam natin kung ano yung ating, ang dulot ng pagsasayaw. Unang-una, it improved condition of our heart and lungs. Okay? It increased muscular strength, endurance, and motor fitness. Increased aerobic fitness, improved muscle tone and strength, weight management, strong bones, and reduced risk of osteoporosis, and better coordination, agility, and flexibility. So that's the reason we need to dance, okay? So dapat natin maintindihan kung ito ang benefits ng dance, bakit inayawan natin ang sayaw? Okay? Hindi na kailangan yung sumobra yung galing. Ang importante, meron tayong understanding that we are artists conveying message to all people. So that's the benefits of dancing. So this time, uh, pahapi ako lang sabihin yung uh, dance belongs in 2-4 and dance belongs in 3-4. Okay? So pahapi ako lang siyang sasabihin kasi may topic talaga, yung sasayawin talaga natin is contemporary. Okay, next slide please. Okay. So by the way, I am just uh, focusing about the staging. The staging, okay, the purpose of staging, okay, the selecting, designing, adapting to modify, modifying the performance space for a given purpose. So the term is frequently used interchangeable with the term blocking, referring in how to perform. So why is it that I am talking staging? Because most of the time, uh, we choreographer, Pag nakuha natin kasi yung mga sayaw na sayaw na yun, isali na yan. So, hindi na original sa atin. In-stage lang natin. Inilagay lang natin sa intablado ang ating kakayahan. Okay? So, we need to understand na as an arts director, as a mapi teacher, or as a sports that okay, arts director. So, dapat maintindihan yung mga stage. We need to give our all lalo na sa lahat. Kasi in dance, hindi lang talaga galaw ang pinag-usapan. Even in our emotions reveal. So, pwedeng magiging theatrical. Okay? So, in our dance later, magiging theatrical. Nagsistaging lang tayo. So, kinukumpi-kumpi lang natin yung ating mga sayaw that it can lead into a wonderful dance piece. Okay? So, next. So, the purpose of staging is to present. Okay? To present an existing dance piece in a manner style that will bring out the best qualities of dance and make it more interesting, meaningful, and appealing without losing the real essence of dance. Okay, so yun po ang dahilan, yun po ang purpose ng pangating pagsistaging. So pag meron tayong mga dance piece, okay ilalagay natin yon sa pinakamagandang intablado. Anything. We need to stage them. Okay? So, kailangan mamintay natin the essence of dance. Ano pa yung gusto natin ipahiwati? 
anong gusto natin iparamdam? Since dancing is just merely movement, it's just merely movement. Okay? So ngayon, nagkakaroon ng incorporation sa lahat ng pagkakataon, lalo na meron na nagda-dance sa mid-theatricals, uh, sumisigaw, but basically, dance is pure on movement. Okay? So next is, we are proceeding the basic dance step in 2-4 times signature. Okay? Basically, I'm talking about the, da the top dance step. Okay? Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Okay, the two four times signature. So, may mali po sa slide kasi may bar po yung two four. Okay, bar represent fraction. So, nagkakamali po yan. So, two four po yan. So, sinama ko dito yung dance step, say one column, and the other is the step pattern and the counting. So, alam kong alam natin lahat itong touch step, blending step, close step, slide step, swing step, rocking step, change step. Kasi ito lahat, gagamitin natin ito on how to improvise the dance. Okay? So, that's, that is the dance step belongs on two four times signature. So, alam din natin dapat the pattern and the counting. So like for instance, the blacking step, hill place, close. So, mamaya, magkakaroon tayo ng, um, ng actual performance. So ngayon, pahapyo ko lang siyang sasabihin sa inyo. So next slide, please. 